How's it going guys? Connor from Running Warehouse and we are back with the Olympian, the marathoner, the shoe connoisseur. We got Jared Ward. Jared, how are we doing today? You know what? It is so good to be back. Do we get to run intervals today? What do we do we get to play? Well, the question is, do we have some fun shoes? Because if we look back 2019 here in Austin, Texas, you brought out the Endorphin Pro. Last year, you brought out the Endorphin Pro 3. What do you have for us today? Well, we, we do have a fun lineup of shoes. So we get to run today, right? We get to do a little, we get to do a little fart lick. I'm still that... feeling the last workout we did a few <laughs> months ago. Are you well, gonna take is a good. little easier? This is what you do, this is what you need a fart lick for then to kind of shake out those legs. And I've been debating at which shoe I'm gonna wear. I, I spent a lot of time in this Elite. This is the Elite uh, coming out, uh, full, full stack height. Um, this is an exciting shoe for me as a marathoner. Like this is, this is gonna be a shoe going forward. The Sinister, the track version, the lower stack height version, this is a shoe I'm less familiar with. So this is what I'm gonna be trialing today. Okay, I'm, I'm excited. Run. Cause Endorphin Elite, it's gonna live side by side with the Pro, a shoe you're very familiar with. Is this a shoe that you've been testing in the lab at all, out on the uh, roads? What, what have you done this so yeah, far? Yeah, yeah, it's performing a little better for me in the lab. Has a different feel, different foam, different shape a little bit, but the same performance feel to the, to the Pro 3. And you talk about that new foam. We've got the Power Run HG and uh, word on the street, HG, Holy Grail. Would you say this is the <laughs> Holy Grail foam? It's a pretty soft foam. Okay. It's, it, you know, you, you feel it right when you pull it on yeah. and, uh, and it's returning a lot of energy. Like the, the stuff that Saucony continues to churn out of this lab in terms of foam is blowing my mind. Uh, in terms of the energy return. So it's a, it's a fun foam. Yeah, and of course the unique carbon plate. And we go over to the Sinister, no plate in that shoe. So I think two very unique feels. We'll try them both on, test them out. I think first we'll go get a little warm up in, then we'll put the pedal to the metal. I'm ready if you are. Let's do it. How do you like this Elite? You know, the Elite, it's it's feeling nice. You know, we did the workout in the Pro 3, and I think when that shoe first came out, I was feeling like this is, I don't know if we can get much better. <laughs> I think what we're gonna find is that some people prefer the Pro 3 and some people prefer the Elite. And But it's, uh, it's innovative, it's different, it's novel, and uh, it's an exciting shoe to add to the line. Enough of the Elite, it's a great <laughs> shoe, but this is your first time in the Sinister. I gotta know, what's the first thoughts? Honestly, it feels like a uh, an ultra cushioned type A to <laughs> me. You know, it's a, it's, it's a little narrow. Um, it fits like a sock. So, you know, it feels like my, my foot's glove. And uh, I'm, I'm actually, I'm pretty excited to do a track workout in these. <laughs> Now, what do you normally do track workouts in? Is that, are you using super shoes a lot? Are you spiking up or a little bit of mix? You know, I haven't spiked up in a long time, but but sometimes I'll do, you know, kind of a more traditional flat type A's or, um, or sometimes like a Kimpara. But but I, I have spent some time in the super shoes on the track, uh, but the Sinister with the lower stack heights World Athletics compliant for racing on the track. And sometimes I think being a little closer to the ground, you know, for those track turns, uh, it made better anyways. So this, uh, this to me is, it's, uh, we're out here on a trail, but it's feeling, it's already feeling like the perfect track shoot to me. Right. All right, Jared, we finished up the run. You took it a little bit easier on me this you time. You kept up? Uh, I'm trying, I'm out hey, here trying. You seem fit. I, yeah. I'm, I'm getting back there. Hopefully by spring, we'll come back out to BYU. Okay. Maybe get a real workout in. Okay. But for now, we got some speed in. I ran in the Elite. You got the Sinister on. What are your first thoughts now that we tested them out, got some miles? What are you thinking? So I love the Sinister. So I, I guess I'm a little bit old school. This, uh, this reminds me of the Saucony Type A, but with a lot of cushioning. Like I'm, I'm gonna be working out on the track in these. I'm gonna be using them for, uh, for some speed days when it's shorter distance speed. You know, my, my, my marathons, my long stuff, um, still gonna be in the 40 millimeter shoe, but, but uh, this shoe is gonna be 
in my bag. And I ran mostly in this today, but I did sneak on the Sinister, got it on, and it's a pretty snug fit. To me, it fits like a like a spike, almost like a you know a sock spike. So it's it's snug. It's a little bit narrow. I'll be half sizing up in these because uh, I got a little bit of a fat foot. But it's it, it it's snug in that it like like an elastic is kind of on your foot, and so I. I like it. Yeah, and I, I do like that you brought up the Type A because I feel like that was a shoe back in the day that was a favorite, but with shoes getting higher and higher, you tend to bring out a shoe like this on track day, and I think the Sinister actually is where a lot of people would like to play. A little more nimble, a little lighter. I mean, little, it's a little lower to shoe. the ground, right? For yeah, those, yeah it, I, I totally, and and uh, I used to run the marathon in the Type A, so so it it, uh, it does, it feels, it feels normal to me. And when we think back, you know, five years ago, a sub five ounce shoe basically just meant outsole. Now we've got 25 millimeters of stack, pretty wild. A lot of cushion. <laughs> it, it, it really, it felt cushiony. Like I, you know, it felt minimal and light. I noticed it when we were running up one of the hills. It just, I felt light and bouncy, but uh, yeah, it was, it was fun. Yeah. What'd you think of the Elite? I mean, I'm curious. I mean, we ran the Pro 3. I told you back last year that it was a favor. Now that I got the Holy Grail foam on my feet, it's nice, you know. I think Power Run PB really made a big step up for Sockney in the racing field, but I like the geometries of this shoe. I feel like it gets me in a really aggressive stance. I just fly. I think we got a winner here. Uh, you know, I, I'm testing a little bit more efficient in that shoe, even than the three. So it's it's an exciting shoe to to uh, to consider. And is this a shoe we might see on your feet this year? Ooh, we'll have to see. Okay. In, are we looking at a pretty stacked race season? You know, I, everything points towards 2024 Olympic trials, and so it, it, you know, I haven't committed to any races outside of U.S. Cross uh, in in January, and then it'll just be, you know, working backwards from the trials and and getting ready. Well, 2023 looks like an exciting year for racing shoes. Whether you're looking for that max stack carbon plated racer, looking for something a little bit sleeker for maybe a 5K, a 10K, a track workout. Sockney's got a lot of great options, and I think this was just our first run, first impressions. We're gonna have to come back a little bit later. Maybe we'll get come visit another workout in. Come visit if I'm if I'm invited. You know I, I'm I, ready. Okay. Yeah, there's room in my basement. Okay. Well, <laughs> you heard it here first. 2023, it's gonna be a fantastic year for Sockney. If you're looking for any of these shoes, you can find it at RunningWarehouse.com.